Hi everyone, my name is Yi Ming Li, and I'm a PhD student from NYU. Today I'm very happy to present our CVPR highlight paper, Voxformer, Sparse Voxel Transformer for Camera-Based 3D Semantics in Completion. This is a joint work with Zhiding, Chris, Chao Wei, Jose, Sanya, Chen, and Anima. Firstly, let's do a quick overview of our paper. Our target problem is how to lift RGB images into a complete 3D semantic volume. To solve this problem, our basic intuition lies in two folds. The first one is how to leverage sparsity in 3D, since there are a lot of empty spaces in 3D space. And the second one is reconstruction before hallucination will provide better visualizations to learn complete 3D representation. And to leverage these two intuitions, we design a novel two-stage transformer-based architecture to achieve both efficient and effective 3D semantic sync completion. Now let's get into more detailed presentations. As we all know, humans tend to automatically complete the missing parts based on visible parts, as shown in these 2D perception and 3D perception examples. In literature, 3D semantic sync completion is proposed to jointly estimate the complete geometric and semantic information given only partial observations. Such kind of partial observations could be either a sparse LiDAR scan or an RGB camera image. And due to the popularity and the low cost of the camera, in this work, we investigate the camera only solutions. And the most relevant work to ourselves is MonoSync, Monocular 3D Semantic Sync Completion, which was published in last year's CVPR. And it utilize 2D to 3D projection to project 2D features into 3D space and then use a set of convolutional neural networks to process the feature. However, one key problem in monosync is that this feature projection will result in ambiguities due to sparsity in 3D. Imagine that there are a lot of voxels which are empty and they actually obtain the features which do not describe themselves and this will result in a lot of ambiguities during the 3D feature learning, and this will hinder the performance of the neural network. Another relevant work is bird's eye view perception, and BV perception recently obtained a lot of attention since it can unify different sorts of uh, information into a unified 3D uh, BV space. And one uh, famous work, BV former, Propose to use predefined learnable gray shape BV queries to interact with spatial and temporal space through deformable attention. And BV former achieve state of the art performance in detection, tracking, and segmentation. However, directly incorporating such kind of design in 3D is not scalable, since now we are processing a 3D space, not just a 2D BV grid. So in this work, we propose a novel two-stage semantic sync completion framework. We try to leverage the sparsities in 3D. So our first stage class agnostic query proposal is try to utilize image depths to propose some query queries which are actually visible and occupied. And this, uh, this query proposal will interact with the camera images to, uh, to obtain their feature and then we complete the 3D representations by adding learnable mask embedding and use deformable attention to propagate the information. And finally, the second stage, class-specific semantic segmentation, will segment uh, each voxels and obtain the final segmentation map. So compared to the 2D to 3D projection in monosync, which had a lot of ambiguities, our 3D to 2D querying have a better visualizations and thus have a better performance. And here is a detailed framework, uh, detailed illustration of our framework. And our input could be either a single RGB image or a set of uh, images. And we utilize existing depth models to obtain image depths and we uh, explore such kind of image depths to uh, select a subset of the query proposals from the predefined uh, complete voxel queries. And such kind of selected query proposal denoted by a blue token in this figure will interact with the camera images and then update it. And finally, we add mask embeddings to complete the 3D representation and then utilize deformable self-attention to propagate the information. 
And finally, we utilize uh, the MLP to obtain the final simulation map. In our experimental setup, uh, we utilize uh, ResNet as our backbone, and we verify our method on semantic Kitty dataset. Compared to monosync, our method is uh, is much better, especially in the short range errors as shown in this figure. Here are some quantitative results compared with camera-based methods. You can see that our box former equipped with temporal information achieve best performance across different spatial regions and in different categories. And we also compare our method with some LiDAR-based methods. And our method is quite promising since you can see that from table two, our method has comparable performance uh, even compared to some LiDAR-based methods. Meanwhile, we conduct some ablation studies and in table three, you can see that our method achieve, uh, can be both effective uh, with mono, uh, mo monocular depths or sterile depths. However, sterile depths will give, the, uh, give our model better performance. And if using a, a much stronger depth model, our method can be uh, more stronger. And we also conduct ablation studies for query proposals, 2D image feature layers, and temporal input. And in table seven, we uh, conduct ablation studies for architecture, and this verifies the reasonable design of our method. And here are some quantitative results of our method to show, show the effectiveness of Voxformer. We release our code on our GitHub page, and feel free to uh, use our code. Thanks for listening.